sacred day, saint of God, together with me in the school of Christ's love, welcome to prayer on Tuesday, the 4th of April. We begin with a deep breath and then our opening responses. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to answer when I call. That's your response today to the prompt, Lord, your response. Make haste to answer when I call. Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come before you. Lord, make haste to answer when I call. Hide not your face from me in the day of my trouble. You, O Lord, endure forever, and your name from age to age. Lord, make haste to answer when I call. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to have pity upon her. Lord, Make haste to answer when I call. Join me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Incline your ear to me. Lord, make haste to answer when I call. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O oh, come, let us worship. Psalm 6, appointed for this day, Tuesday, in Holy Week. Here's a note on this important psalm from the Jewish Study Bible. Psalm 6. This psalm has entered the Jewish liturgy as the daily prayer for supplication recited every weekday morning. It is the paradigmatic individual petition, opening with a divine invocation, followed by imperatives describing the petitioner's condition and problems, and offering a set of motivations for divine intervention. God's chesed, that is covenant love, God's chesed, and the fact that if God kills the petitioner, God will no longer hear his praise. The psalm is tightly structured in balanced verses. The psalmist is ill, scared, and is being persecuted by enemies. This allows the psalm to be used on multiple occasions, Psalm 6, for the leader with instrumental music on the Shemineth, a psalm of David. O Lord, do not punish me in anger, do not chastise me in fury. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I languish. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones shake with terror. My whole being is stricken with terror, while you, Lord, O oh, how long? O oh, Lord, turn, rescue me. Deliver me as befits your faithfulness, for there is no praise of you among the dead. In Sheol, who can acclaim you? I am weary with groaning. Every night I drench my bed. I melt my couch in tears. My eyes are wasted by vexation, worn out because of all my foes. Away from me, all you evildoers. For the Lord heeds the sound of my weeping. The Lord heeds my plea. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be frustrated and stricken with terror. They will turn back in an instant, frustrated. Let us pray. God of mercy and tenderness, giver of life and conqueror of death, look upon our weakness and grief and restore us to health that we may sing a new song to your praise through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We pick up our reading of Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 to chapter 4, verse 13. Here, Paul discusses joy in giving, unity in the congregation, and offers thanks for the gifts of the congregation, but he encourages and instructs the people how to stand firm in the Lord. One of the ways we stand firm is to practice spiritual disciplines, and that's what you're doing in daily prayer and listening to Scripture and listening to some teaching around Scripture to feed your spirit, to feed your faith, so that you might stand firm in the Lord through this holy week, but each and every day. We begin at verse 20, um, which is part of the instruction, is how to stand firm. But our citizenship is in heaven, 
and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who, by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that we will be like his glorious body. Therefore, my sisters and brothers, you whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, this is how you should stand firm in the Lord, dear friends. I plead with Eodia, and I plead with Syntyche to agree with each other in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you, loyal yoke fellow, Help these women who have contended at my side in the cause of the gospel, along with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, siblings, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you have renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you have been concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Friends, this is such a great and powerful passage, so full of good wisdom and advice. I encourage you perhaps to listen to it again or to look it up. Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 to chapter 4, verse 13. Some quick notes. Be reconciled with the members of the congregation. Rejoice in God. Be gentle. Don't be anxious. Use your anxiety as a motivator and springboard into prayer with thanksgiving and petition for your needs. The peace of God will descend. Guard the meditations of your mind. Consider what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, praiseworthy. Feed your mind on these and the God of peace will be with you. Our state of happiness and contentedness need not be completely founded on life's circumstances. Learn contentment. Lord, be our helper. Amen. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear and have mercy. For the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church throughout the world, help us all as we mark Holy Week and are drawn more deeply into your presence. Lord, hear and have mercy. For the mission of the church, for our missional action planning team and the teams of all churches seeking new direction and guidance and strategic planning at this time, for our own diocese as we go through our strategic planning process, that, guided by your Spirit, you may help us to be faithful in witness and to proclaim the good news of Jesus to the ends of the earth, beginning in, among our own families, friends, and in our local community. For this we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear and have mercy. 
for those preparing for baptism and confirmation, for their teachers, parents, and sponsors, for peace in the world, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear and have mercy for the poor, for Fred, Tina, and her family, Nicole, for all whose home is the streets, for the persecuted, the sick, for baby Enzo, for Gabe and Lorraine, for Lorna, Ewart, Marilyn, John, Richard, Ricardo, Ruth, Rose, baby Kavya, for Oakley, Bob, Diane, George, Oakley, Mary. You may wish to pause the recording for those on your hearts. For all who suffer, for refugees, especially Zaki, for prisoners and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear and have mercy. For all whom we have injured or offended, for grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear and have mercy. Gathering our prayers, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The blessing of the Creator, Redeemer, and Sanctifier rest upon you in all that you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day today, Tuesday of Holy Week.